Get ready to take the plunge. A 32-mile long trail opens its first phase today with a number of visitors getting their steps in after branching out to some locals. Our Cora Dickey is live in the studio to mount up a hike day. Cora. Lena, the call to adventure continues to grow as part of the Palisade Plunge is officially open. While roughly half the trail is saved for later this season, what's available now is a big hello to summer. Building the Palisade Plunge is part of the shoulder improvement project for North River Road. 32 miles of canyon desert is expected to draw tourists and visitors both near and far. Open and partial, the extensive trail is already making an impression on its first day. It really wasn't too busy this morning. We didn't see a whole lot of bikes coming down yet, but we did see some going up. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting to see Phase 2 kick off, uh, see that longer section come in. and and actually see some more traffic come up here with the, the bikes. This is only the start of something new. Although all 32 miles of Palisades Plunge are not done on opening day, let me show you something. Enough miles on the trail during phase one are open for people to enjoy hiking, biking, and just being outside. Locals see this creating an opportunity for Palisade, bringing in nature lovers within and beyond the Grand Valley. I think it'll be good for the community and everything. And um, we did run into people who are here from Denver and they, they thought that it was absolutely beautiful. The final project will connect the top of the Mesa to the bottom of Palisade's rim trailhead. Phase two is scheduled to be completed at the end of July. Now before you take the plunge, the trails overseers want you to be prepared with food and water, appropriate clothing, and supplies for bike repair. Reporting first on the Western Slope, live in the studio, I'm Cordicky with KREX5 News.